What's going on, kings and queens? How you doing, family? What's going on, familia? Blessings, blessings. Oh, yeah, blessings I send your way. We're going to talk today about paying attention, you guys. Oh, yes, paying attention and unplugging from the illusion and not being distracted. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let me ask you guys a question real quick. Why is it that when we have something so valuable, so worthy, so precious, so something so priceless that God has allowed us to have, why when we have it, we disregard it, we don't care about it, we don't appreciate it, we don't value it, we don't take care of it, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't take care of it, we don't appreciate it. And then why is it when we lose it, then we start complaining and blaming others and being all angry and pointing fingers and then just complaining and being being all depressed and, and asking why, 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 why? Why is that, you guys? We gotta pay attention, you guys, because if you have something that's very priceless and something so valuable in your hands that God gave you, take care of it, you guys, take care of it. Take care of it and make it last, because if it takes care of you, oh, it's mandatory. You must take care of it and make it last, because that's just the way it is, because if you've been blessed to have something so good, it's a blessing, you guys. It's a true blessing. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, man. Every day, I bump into kings and queens. And some of the kings that I speak to, I say, they're like, man, I lost my family. I lost my family. And all because of drugs and because of my anger and because of my bad attitude. And I'm like, man, I can relate. And then I hear queens say, man, I just left the relationship because he was in drugs or I was in drugs and I lost my kids because of drugs. Man, now I gotta go to classes and I gotta fight and do things that, are, that I would never done before to get my family back. And I'm like, well, that's how it is and I can relate. And then it allows me to let them know, you know what? Life is hard. You can, you will, and you must, and this is for a reason. And where you're at right now does not determine what you can and you will accomplish because there's greatness within you. You know what I mean? But you got to pay attention. I got to pay attention. You got to pay, pay attention. We all got to pay attention because God sends us signals and messages on a daily basis. Sometimes it's that gut feeling. Sometimes there are visions in our dreams. Sometimes there's numbers that we see. Sometimes it's just... Uh, messages that we get on a daily basis but if we're plugged into the illusion thinking that material things are, is what's going to make me happy and trying to live with ego and trying to live better than others and being angry and and discontent and living with revenge and resentment then all we have really is a big old hole in our soul a big old hole in our soul a void we're empty but if we pay attention to that feeling and the messages that we receive and we turn it around, then we start healing. Oh yes, then we start healing. Healing ourselves from within. God, if we take one step, God will take two steps. Giving ourselves to God, letting him take care of us and do his work and then us just focusing on, you know what? This is gonna get better. This is gonna get better. I just gotta continue to be focused and be patient. And that's just how it is, right? You know what I mean, you guys? So, but why is it? Why is it? Is it human nature that, that we got to go through stuff like that? Maybe it is. But don't ever forget, your life experiences is to help others along the path. Because when you get stronger and better and better, then you're able to help others that are coming through the same path that you went through and help them heal and get them patched up and get them on their way. And then people that are miles ahead of you, then they're able to look back and see that you're really putting your best foot, best effort forward then they'll be able to go ahead and, and invest in you and give you some good tools like I'm doing with you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk personal. I can relate to what I just, example, the two examples that I gave to you because I lived it. I lost my family, right? Because I wasn't thinking right, I was immature, uh, and I was making wrong decisions. Okay, but then things happened and I still kept, I still was not listening to the messages that I was receiving on a daily basis, which is, God telling me, come to me, son, and I'll take care of you. Come to me, son, I'll be your refuge. Come to me, son, and I'll be your rock. Come to me, son, 
and I got your back. No, I still wanted to do it my way. So then what happened after so many years of beating my body up and not taking care of my temple, they gave me a white cane and now I'm legally blind. And that's when I started seeing things the real way. That, oops, I'm going the wrong direction and I had to get up, dust myself off and get back on the right track, get back on the right lane, get back on the right freeway. And it was, that's when I realized, whoa, I need to pay attention more because if I continue this path, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna lose more of my freedom. I'm gonna lose people in my life that I love. I'm gonna lose my soul. I'm gonna lose my health, my well-being, the peace of mind that I have. I'm gonna lose everything. Instead of me waking up and saying, yeah, this is a beautiful day, amazing things are happening. I used to wake up saying, man, I can't believe this happened. Why, 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 why? And complaining. And instead of creating solutions, I was creating more problems in my own life. I was taking the peace away from me. And instead of paying attention to the signals and the messages that I was receiving, I was paying attention to the silly thoughts that I had in my mind. Silly thoughts that I had in my mind. So once I paid attention and once I lost the use of my physical eyes, then I said, uh-oh, now I must pay attention even more especially when I'm out and about. Because at the end of the day, all we really all want to do is be able to handle our business throughout the day and then make it back home safe. So pay attention, you guys. Let me ask you, we're at the middle of 2022. What have you been paying attention to? Stuff that doesn't matter or stuff that's going to help you? Stuff that does matter. If you haven't, I pray and I hope that you start paying attention and receiving the signals and the messages that you have to. And if you have been, good job, don't stop. This is hard, but keep going because let's do it hard. Let's live hard, let's die hard, and let's stay hard, and let's make it happen, you guys. So pay attention, you guys. With that being said, I send blessings your way. Let's get it done, kings and queens. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, chance, let's go, chance, let's go. Let's knock it out the park, chance.